Top story tonight, our breaking news, several law enforcement agencies investigating after officers shot at an SUV. Of course, all this after two breaches near Mar-a-Lago. Right, it didn't happen on Mar-a-Lago specifically, but around the perimeters, there were two breaches uh, at two of the perimeter locations or, or security locations. It played out from the breakers, started at the breakers. This incident began there, and then that road around Mar-a-Lago, uh, it continued on that, ended at the Studio 6 Motel along Australian Avenue in West Palm Beach. WPTV News Channel 5's ba Dave Bowman is here in studio. He's been following this all afternoon for us. Dave, the sheriff was very clear about what this is not. That's correct, Shannon Jay. The Palm Beach County Sheriff very clear saying this was not a terrorist situation and this was not an attempt to get to President Trump. The sheriff isn't even sure the woman realized she was at the president's Palm Beach home. Now it started this morning during a call to police. Someone warned a woman was acting erratically, even dancing on an SUV at the Breakers Hotel. An FHP trooper working security there approached the woman, but she got in her SUV and drove off. Authorities say she headed south on Ocean towards Mar-a-Lago. The sheriff says the woman crashed through two security checkpoints here. They shot at her. She kept going. No one was hurt. The trooper did the right thing. This woman's driving on the wrong side of the road at 70 plus miles an hour with people all over the place, not to mention the fact she assaulted a federal officer with a deadly weapon, which the vehicle is a deadly weapon, folks. There was seven police officers killed last year with vehicles, feloniously, all right? And how many people have been killed in crowds with vehicles with terrorists driving in there? Not to mention the fact we don't know what's going on until we get that vehicle. It could have been loaded with explosives. Authorities identified that woman as 30 year old Hannah Romehill, and she's facing a number of charges, including assault on a federal officer and assault on sheriff's deputies. Investigators say there was a second woman in the vehicle when they caught up with Romehill at a motel. That second woman has not been charged. Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.